And before we start, let's go to the mistake section of the video. While I was playing turn 4, I realized that all combat units have their combat factors reduced by 1 when they attack a town zone. And uh, I just noticed that a mistake was made in turn 2, which was attempted to be corrected in turn 3 and was not corrected fully. And we will correct it now because it affects the victory point score. In the video, our unit rolled a 3 and we destroyed the 7th Greek Infantry Regiment. The correct result should have been a tactical retreat because the combat factor of our attacking unit had to be reduced by 1 on account of the town in the defending zone. Therefore, we have to make a reduction of 1 victory point to the victory point score and it is currently at 29 so we will start turn 4 with 28 victory points and now we move on to turn number 4 we have our forces in control of Retimo airfield and almost in control of Retimo port and uh, there's some uh, allies nearby meanwhile in the Cania sector we have control of Malemi Airfield and Kanya Port, so we can start bringing the 5th Mountain Division in this turn, or we could uh, use our air forces to try to soften up Heraklion, but uh, I think this would be an unnecessary diversion. So in this turn, we will focus on bringing the elements of the 5th Mountain Division air landing them at Retimo and also at Kanya. So we go to the first phase, the Flieger Corps 11 staff point phase and we roll a die to see how many of these points we get. The higher the better. And the roll is a four and we mark four points on the track. Next, the German intelligence phase, but we're not going to spend any points to gain any intelligence. So we go to the next phase, the German refit phase. We have two half-strength units in the Retimo sector, but a refitting a ground unit uh, will spend one air transport point per unit. And that's one less transport that we would have to bring in more troops in this turn. And we also have at Malemi Airfield one reduced anti-tank unit. However, we will use two points to refit air units. We will refit this uh, Junkers 87 Stuka as well as this Junkers 88. And we use two of our Flieger Corps staff points. On to the German staging phase. And here we plan which uh, units are going to be airdropped this turn or air landed. As you can see here, we have six transport units. So we will be able to airdrop slash air land six units. And uh, we need to bring units to two sectors, Kanea and Retimo. So we will be air landing at Kanya. Three units of the 85th uh, Regiment of the 5th Mountain Division. That is two combat units and the headquarters of the regiment. And we assign transports to each of those units. And at Retimo, we will air land three units of the 6th Mountain Division, the headquarters of the 141st Regiment, an artillery support unit, and a regular mountain unit. And we also assign transports to each of those units. And in this turn, because we will have uh, units air landing at uh, various airfields, we will use our air force to conduct strong strategic attacks on Allied morale and the Royal Navy. First, Allied morale attacks. We assign seven units, six of which are bombers, six Stukas, 
and our ME110 to Allied morale attacks. Meanwhile, we assign four bombers to Royal Navy attacks. Now to the tactical movement phase, and we can move our units on the ground at Crete. So we see this elite battalion move into Suda, as well as this heavy weapons battalion. And this uh, regiment will also join in the fight at Suda. Meanwhile, this uh, parachute unit will move two zones into the port of Kanya. And that concludes the tactical movement phase. Now to the German strategic air attack phase. And we'll start with the attacks on the Royal Navy by four bomber units. We need two or less. And this is a display of atrocious die rolling, no hits. And two of our units, the Heinkel and one of the Junkers 88, suffer each one hit and are reduced. And these two reductions reduce the victory point score. To 26. And now on to the Allied morale attacks. Allied morale is at his highest level 12. And we have uh, six Stukas and an ME 110. So for the Stukas we need three or less and the uh, 110 two or less. And we roll all the dice for these aircraft. So of the six Stukas, four hit and the uh, ME 110 misses, but we get four hits total. And that is just enough to reduce Allied morale from 12 to 8. And 8 is the highest level at which the Allies will roll twice on the Middle East Command Events table. Next to the German tactical air movement phase, and uh, we have air transports to move now on to Crete. We first move the transports destined to Kanya sector. And these transports will land their passengers at Malemi airfield during the upcoming airdrop and landing phase. And now we move the transports destined to Retimo sector. And these will airland their troops at Retimo airfield. Next, the German amphibious movement phase, but there is no amphibious uh, movement in this turn. Now the Allied reveal phase. And the only Allied unit that has to be revealed is one of the two units that is currently defending Suda. And it is a headquarters of the NNBDO, whatever that means. It is an elite unit, so the Allies have one elite unit there to contend with. We have also one. On to the Allied anti-aircraft phase. And there are no anti-aircraft Allied units in the same zones as any of our units. German tactical air attack phase. We have no air units attacking any Allied units on Crete, so uh, we also skip this phase. Now to the German airdrop and landing phase, and we are air landing six units, and they can land in any space with an airfield, no drop check has to be made. So we have three units to be air landed at Ritimo airfield. So they are placed in the airfield space, and the transports are heading back to Greece. Now we air land three of our units at Malemi airfield. And the transports head back also to Greece. Now to the German ground combat phase. And we have two combat situations. The first one is here at the port of Retimo, where the Allies have one meager support unit. We have a support unit, which is reduced, and a parachute battalion. In terms of tactical edge, the morale for the Allies is at 8 medium. 
It is important to note that the attack here happens in a town space. That means that the strength of the attackers is reduced by one to a minimum of one. As to tactical edge, the Allies do not have any modifier, they don't have any elite unit, and their morale is at medium. And we don't have any modifier either, unless we spend a Flieger Corps staff point, which we will not do for this specific combat. And the Allies win the tactical edge. And first we uh, face off with the support units. And that Allied support unit needs a 1. And the roll is a 1. Tactical retreat. We have to retreat one of our units. And if we retreat the unit to Retimo, it will be overstacked and we'll have to eliminate one unit. And we cannot retreat the unit to a space occupied by an allied unit. So simply, this anti-aircraft unit takes a hit. And we have our first airborne unit to be eliminated in the game. Each eliminated airborne unit costs three victory points. So now the score is 23. So now the maneuver units fire. The Allies would fire first, but they don't have any maneuver units. So our parachute battalion fires, but it has a strength of three because it is attacking a town space. So we need three or less to cause any effect. And the roll is a three. And that's a tactical retreat on the defending artillery unit. So we take the artillery unit and place it in the Allied reserve box. So we don't earn any victory points for removing that uh, enemy unit, but we earn four victory points for control of Retimo port, which increases our victory point score to 27. And now to the battle for Suda. The Allies have one elite unit, so they receive, and again, notice that they don't receive any uh, positive die roll modifier for high morale, because their morale right now is at medium. We receive a plus one because we have one elite unit, and we may spend a Flieger Corps staff point here. And the point is spent, and we have now just one left. And now we have plus two, so we roll 1d6 for each side to determine who has a tactical edge. And both sides rolled a five, but because the Germans have a plus two, they win the tactical edge seven to six. And we fire first with our support unit, but it has its strength reduced by one on account of Suda being a town space, so we roll 1d6. But it rolls a six and misses. And now we fire with both airborne units, and again, their combat strength is three, so we need three or less to cause any effect on the defending allied units. A six, which is a miss, and a two, which is a hit. And uh, which unit do we choose? The juicy headquarters for three victory points, or the combat factor valued unit of three? which can come back to haunt us next turn if we don't eliminate it now or at least remove it from the map and that's what we're going to do this unit is eliminated and so the unit is eliminated and uh, both sides are still locked in combat at Suda port and that earns us a victory point and the score is now 28 and on to the Allied Middle East Command phase. And we have to make uh, Middle East Command checks dependent on the uh, Allied morale level. And the morale index is at 8, so we make two checks. Now for the first of two die rolls. And the roll is a 7 Allied offensive in the Kania sector. And we follow the allied offensive procedure there and we move all allied units in the sector which are adjacent to an airfield or port into the airfield or port and we begin here with the port of Suda let's look at the offensive 
procedure around Suda, this uh, inverted unit here at Armenoi moves into Suda. And this face down unit here in this rough zone is adjacent to two ports, Kania and Suda. So we have to randomly select to which it will move. We will roll one d6. On a 1 to 3 it will be Kania. On a 4 to 6, Suda. The roll is a 5, so to Suda it goes. And they move into Suda, and of course we're going to have a battle coming up in the counterattack phase. And looking here at the uh, area around Malemi airfield, the uh, allied units at Kisamos are adjacent to the airfield, so they move into the uh, space of Malemi airfield. And this unit is adjacent to Kisamos port, so it also moves. And finally, we have here at the south is the port of Sfakia. And uh, there are two allied units in the sector which are adjacent to the port. And both are moved. And there's no additional uh, movement in this sector. Now we have another dice roll to make on the uh, Middle East Command events table. And it's an 11 Ultra Intelligence and we raise both the Allied Command level and Royal Navy levels by one each. And now Command level is at 9 and Royal Navy level 8. To the Allied counterattack phase and Allied units in the same zone as our units will attack. And we have two battles. And let's take a look at the battle for Suda. The Allies have two Greek units and a uh, British headquarters. And uh, one of their units is an elite unit. Allied morale is high, so uh, the Allies have a plus two die roll modifier on the tactical edge determination. We only have a plus one on account of our elite unit. We roll 1d6 for each side, and the Allies have the tactical edge 4 to 3. Support units fire first, but the Allies have no support units, so our uh, heavy weapons battalion fires first. Oh boy, a 6. We miss. Now the Allies roll. Fortunately, their units have uh, low to hit numbers, but you know, who knows what can happen. And uh, the first unit missed completely with a six, but the other two units rolled a one, and that causes a tactical retreat. Now, uh, Suda Port is a town also, and uh, defending units in town cause that the attacking units reduce their printed strength by one, but never uh, to zero. So. They still have an attack factor of one, so we have uh, two tactical retreats. Or, instead of conducting a tactical retreat, we can uh, absorb a hit. And we retreat two of our units so that we don't uh, lose any victory points. Now, uh, the sole unit that we have there fires. And the roll is a three, one hit. And we'll eliminate the headquarters unit. And the eliminated headquarters unit gives us two victory points, and we reach 30. But we don't have control of the city, the battle still rages on. And now we move on to the battle for Malemi Airfield. Let's check now for Tactical Edge. We get a plus one because we have an elite unit, and the Allies get a plus one because their morale is high. So we roll 1d6 for each side. Uh, three for each side, so we're tied at four, and uh, the defender wins all ties except when the space is a plane space or an airfield space. That's an airfield space, so the attackers have the tactical edge. 
the attackers have an anti-aircraft unit with a strength of one. One die is rolled. The result is a four. The allies miss. Now we have a support unit, anti-tank unit, with a strength of one also. We roll 1d6. And fortunately we do roll a one. So a tactical retreat ensues. So we will retreat, that is remove, the three strength unit that goes back to the allied reserve. We gain no victory points. Now the allied maneuver units fire. They only have one with a strength of two. The roll is a five and it misses. Now we roll and we have four units, three with a strength of three and the headquarters with a strength of one. And uh, none of our units actually hit. We have two tactical retreats. So both attacking units are retreated, that is, they go to the Allied Reserves, and again, we win no victory points by removing them. Well, at least that counterattack uh, did not produce the desired effect for the Allies. To the Allied Command Adjustment Phase, and we increase the Allied Command level by one for each airfield and port that is still Allied controlled. The Allies still control Heraklion Airfield and three ports. So that's enough to move the command marker back to 12. Allied evacuation check. There will be no evacuation because uh, the dice roll cannot be higher than the command level of 12. And nothing happens here in this phase either. And we reach the end of turn phase. And we move the turn marker now to turn 5. So here we see the situation at the end of four turns. We are in control of Retimo Airfield. We have already brought in several mountain units and uh, we can still bring more in the next turn. In Kania, we were able, able to hold on to Malemi Airfield after that Allied counterattack and we had to retreat two units from Kania, but still the battle rages on in that port. The victory point score is 30, and we still have one German Flieger Corps staff point available that we can use in the next turn in addition to whatever points we obtain. So I take the uh, sequence of play cards, just flip them over, and they're ready to go for the next turn. And uh, that will be the next time. So this is Stuka Joe signing off for now. Thanks for watching.